Hello and welcome to Pavli Connect. In this video, we are going to see how you can connect Canva, which is one of the most popular designing and publishing tool available online. You can integrate and connect this application inside Pavli Connect. Yes, that's right. So Pavli Connect has recently launched its integration with Canva. And now using this integration, you can basically automate a lot of your tasks related to Canva using Pavli Connect automation. Whether it can be getting the images or PDF files of your Canva designs and uploading it on Google Drive or creating some folder or uploading assets and a lot more automations can be possible with this integration. The possibilities are endless. But in this particular video, I'm going to show you how you can connect your Canva account with Pavli Connect. So the connection between Canva and Pavli Connect is a little bit of tricky. So how we are going to connect it, I'm going to show that to you. So I've created a workflow inside Pavli Connect. And in this workflow, we will just start with the action step. And here in Choose App, we will search for Canva. Just select it. After selecting Canva, in action event from this dropdown, select the action event of your choice. Let me select the action event of Create Folder, just for an example. Then just click on Connect and select Add New Connection. Now to connect our Canva account with Pavli Connect, we will just click on this Connect with Canva button. And as we click on it, this pop-up box will appear in front of us. And it is basically asking us two different things, Client ID and Client Secret. Now to get this Client ID and Client Secret, there is a step-by-step -step process that we have to follow over here. And that process is mentioned on our forum page. So just click on this Learn More button in the help text and it will take you to this page on our forum. At this page, you will get a step-by-step -step guide that how you can basically connect your Canva account with Pavli Connect. So to make this connection and to generate this client ID and client secret, what we have to do, we have to create an integration on the Canva developer portal. So here on the same page, you will get the link of Canva developer portal. We will just open this link in a new tab and you will reach to this Canva developers page. After reaching here, we will go to this your integration section. And here we have to create a new integration. Click on this create an integration button, select public over here, select I agree and click on this create integration. And we have started creating a new integration, but it is asking us to please ensure that we have to enable the multi-factor authentication for our Canva account. So what we are going to do, we'll just go to the profile section, go to settings. And after coming to settings, go to login and security. And here under security, you can see this option of multi-factor authentication. We just have to enable this option over here. Then I'll just enter the password of my Canva account and we have enabled this multi-factor authentication. Now, after this, using an authentication app, what you have to do, you just have to get the authentication. You just have to scan this QR with your authentication app. It could be Google Authenticator or any other platform. And after scanning it, what we have to do, we just have to enter the security code over here. So we have to enable the multi-factor authentication for our Canva account before we create this kind of integration. And here you can see we have enabled the multi-factor authentication. Now, after enabling it, what we are going to do, we'll just go back to the integration page and start creating the integration once again. Let's click on create integration and here we have started. Now, to configure this integration, we have to enter or give this integration a name. Let's say I'll name it as Pavli Connect. You can basically give any other name of your choice. And then here we have credentials that is client ID. And after client ID, click on this generate secret button. And this is the client secret over here. Now generating this client ID and client secret is not enough. We have to select the scopes and authentication as well. So here in this documentation, you will scroll down and you can see a list of all the scopes which we have to select and all the authentication method which we have to follow. So what we are going to do after generating this client ID and client secret, go to the scope section and select all the scopes which you can see on the scope section. After selecting all the scopes, we have to go to the authentication section. So we have selected all the scopes, go to authentication and under authentication, we have to enter this redirect URL. So we will just clear the default URL from here, go to the documentation page and here on the documentation page, you will get the redirect URL which we have to add. And here it is, the callback URL which we have to add over here. Copy this callback URL from this documentation on the Public Connect forum and paste the same URL over here. After pasting this URL, our integration or our client ID or client secret, this integration which we have created on Canva developer platform is done. Now we can use this client ID and client secret to connect our Canva account with Public Connect. So we will just copy this client ID from here, go to Public Connect and paste it over here. 
After that, we will just copy the client secret and paste it over here as well. And here in the help text on our integration page of Canva, you can see it is written. We have to copy the secret, the client secret of this integration, which we have generated over here. And we have to keep this client secret safe somewhere. Now, because after generating this client secret once, we won't be getting access to this particular client secret again. We have to generate a new client secret for the next time. So if you want to use the same credentials for connecting Canva with Pabli Connect or with any other platform, in that case, what we have to do, we have to just keep this client secret safe somewhere. So after entering the client ID and client secret, let's click on this save button. And as we click on save here, you can see this pop-up box will appear in front of us. We will just scroll down and click on allow. And as we click on allow, we will see our Canva account will get connected with Pabli Connect. So in this way, we can connect our Canva account with Pabli Connect by creating a simple integration on the Canva developer portal. After creating the integration and connecting it, we are going to test this connection once. So we have selected the action event as create folder. So what this action event is going to do, it will create a folder in my Canva account. Now this particular action event is only asking us two things. First one is the name that what will be the name of a new folder. Let's say I want to name my new folder as Canva integration. So this will be the name of my new folder, which I'm going to give. I'm going to create a folder with this name. Then it is asking us parent folder ID that what will be the folder ID of the parent folder in which we are going to create this folder. So this will be created as a subfolder and we have to enter the ID of the folder in which this subfolder will be created. So what will be the parent folder? Let's say I'm selecting the parent folder as new projects. So under this folder, another folder with Canva integration, this name will be created. Now let's click on save and send test request. And as we click on save and send test request, here you can see we have received a response. And this response seems to be a positive response to us. This response shows that by the name of Canva integration, a new folder is created in my Canva account. This is the folder ID and this is the date and time and timestamp that at what date and time the folder was created. So let's check it. We will just go to our Canva account and I will just go to this project section. Under projects, here you can see a list of all the folders which we have created. And we have selected this folder, the parent folder as new projects. So under new projects, you can see a new folder is created over here by the name of Canva integration, the same name which we have entered over here in the action step of Pabli Connect. This means the connection which we have created between Canva and Pabli Connect over here using this client ID and client secret, this connection is working perfectly fine. And now you can use Canva application inside Pabli Connect and automate a lot of your tasks related to Canva. So this was a short and simple video on how you can connect Canva inside Pabli Connect and automate your tasks related to Canva. If this video was helpful to you, don't forget to hit the like button. And if you have any kind of doubts or queries, you can always write us in the comment box below. So this is it for today's video. Thank you. Have a great day.